So, hello. You want to speak to Elves? Hey, El. Elf, how are you? I am, as I am. Uh, could you introduce your name if you don't mind? Fletta. Fletta. Nice name, easy to remember. Welcome. Um, thank you for coming through. It's nice to have you. I needed <clears throat> to speak to an earthling sometime. You're destroying this place. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that. It is, you know, we are individuals and for each individual it, it is out of our control. We I try see. to be nice, but we are individuals. Um, the chemicals you put into the earth draw themselves along through the roots of the trees and through the canals <coughs> of the waters under the earth <coughs> and they're affecting everything I know you mean the pesticides and fertilizers so many things yes <coughs> it is hard to keep the trees from dying for the different kinds of things in the soil. Yeah. There are some places <clears throat> on the earth that it is still clear, but they are remote. Yeah, we like trees very much. Trees are great. Trees to exist will have to get used to these chemicals, which they cannot at this time, and some of them are dying. Mm -hmm. Some of them are dying. You noticed I, I live in a place with a lot of trees. Some of them are dying, actually. <clears throat> but this also affects everything. The animals that live in the trees, and the insects, and the ground itself for fertility. We cleanse as much as we can during the day. Day? You work at day and sleep at night? We work when we can. <coughs> oh, I was thinking that you work at night. We can work at night. Uh -huh. We have worked at night. Do you have specific living beings that help you, like bees or something, like ants? We <coughs> help them oh, and they fine. help us. Uh -huh. Yes, but first we help them to survive uh -huh. and find the things that they need in the places they need to find them. And then they help us with some of the mm -hmm. things that we need for cleansing the soil. I uh, have a wasp's yellow jacket uh, hive living in my wall yes. just recently and I want to exterminate them. <clears throat> What do you think about that? I would not suggest extermination. Because I do not suggest extermination for anything. <clears throat> How about I just spray a little bit so they kind of are uh, scared away? Fine. Frighten them away. <coughs> if this is possible, do that. <clears throat> Or create another environment for them. Mm. Which I do not think humans know how to do. Mm. In most cases. Um, do you, how long do you live? Are you... Um, not as long as we would like. <clears throat> Perhaps 160 or 70 years. Huh. And are you personally old? I am personally around the 105 years area. Ah. So you were born around the time my grandfather was born. Yes, actually, that's incorrect. I'm more like 115 <laughs> mm -hmm. now that they have so me. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, are you, do you have a genome? Are you genetic? Yes. Wow, do you have cells and nuclei in the cells? Yes. <clears throat> wow. Do you look like humans at all? Not exactly, but yes, we're made in the same image 
form, head, arms, legs, etc. I just recently watched Hobbit movie and elves are beautiful there and they shoot arrows. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> they look like Scandinavians to me. Yes, I sense what you're thinking. They're very light-skinned. Mm -hmm. We are not so light-skinned. Mm. How tall are you? We can grow as high as three and a half feet. Ah. And how low can you be? A foot and a half. <clears throat> are you dimensional beings? We do have connections to the dimensions, yes, but only for the purpose of helping nature and mankind. Mankind secondary. <clears throat> yes. So you are outside of our third dimension and outside of fourth dimension. You are somewhere in a different reality altogether? It is <clears throat> hard to explain. Yes, we are in a density that is lighter than yours, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. However, to be able to be effective with third dimension, we have to be in between dimensions at all times. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Therefore, you cannot see us because we are <coughs> in between, but we can become visible. Ah. And we can become invisible to yes. you. Yes, yes. We can become visible to another dimension as well, uh -huh. but only for a short period of time. We must stay in between to survive. How do you call your reality? Is there a name for it? In between. In between reality. So who else is living in that reality? Some, the fairies and the wood nymphs and things of that nature yes. live within the in-between also. Therefore, mm. we know of the, each other very well. Yeah. There are or were such things as trolls as well. We never called them trolls. You did. What's the name for them? They were the uglies. Uglies, okay. We called mm. them uglies. All right. Perhaps that's where your word ugly came from. Oh. But to us, ugly is not a bad word. I see. You would consider us all ugly, I'm sure. Except really? for perhaps the wood nymphs and the fairies. They are actually quite what you might call pretty. Or pretty in the sense that they look like little butterflies or little flying insects or whatever. So elves wouldn't be pretty to us if we saw you? Not really. <clears throat> and there are the leprechauns, <clears throat> which are also in-betweens. <clears throat> what do we eat? We, we are energy feeders, per Yeah. Me. So what energy do you take? Whatever energy is available for consumption, would third dimensional energy do? <clears throat> yes, of course. All energy is consumable in some way or another. We would not have to... Do you notice how the apples on your ground wither? Yes. We can take the energy from them and cause ah. them to wither within minutes. Nice. So if we have lots of people who love some love fairies, some love elves. They have yes. a lot of connections. How could we give you energy? You couldn't, I don't think, unless we feed directly on your energy, and we do not do that to humans. Can we kind of make uh, feeders? Feeders? Like, for, we can do the feeders for animals. Can you do feeders for elves? I... <clears throat> Mm. Imagine if you have anything with energy in it, it could become a feeder. Like I have a compost that has a lot of rotten in things. Would it help elves to feed or...? It depends on how rotten it was. 
We don't like rotten. We like it when it's just on the ground and we can take the fresh energy out of it. Yes. Okay, so fresh fruits would help? Yes, that would be better. But you do, are you limited? In the fall, I don't think you're limited with fresh fruits on the ground. There's no. tons of them. No, there's fresh fruits everywhere. But in the winter, what would you eat in the winter? We stay in between. There is a dimension in between mm. that we can live in that is energy laden. Oh, so it's not, you're not that hungry at all? Not really, but we do like an occasional treat. Yes. I see. Now, how do you multiply? We are as you are mm -hmm. in some ways that we can breed ourselves. Are you mammals? No. What animal would be most similar to you in the ways of multiplication? There is no animals that are similar to us because we are energy beings for the most part. Uh -huh. But we do have a body, an energy body, but it is a body. Yeah. And it can be created to in third dimension, but not for a long period of time. What animal would you be most like? Uh, what would you re resemble in human or an animal? More human looking than animal. Uh huh. Two eyes, a mouth, a nose? Yes. How about ears? Yes. But the ears, our elves in the pictures have long ears. Actually, that's one of the features they got correct. Ah. We do have big ears. Okay. But we have to be able to have big ears. We have to sense yeah. many things in your dimension without really being there. Long hair? On the head? It doesn't matter, yes. Ah. I like long hair. Do you wear a dress? I wear a an outfit that is appropriate for your planet. Ah. I do not it is energy outfit. Uh-huh. Uh do you wear shoes? <clears throat> Yes, we must. When they're on third dimension, we must wear shoes, yes. <sighs> Do you speak to children? Sometimes. Oh, sometimes we tell them to get away because they're too close to something that is important. Uh -huh. And sometimes <clears throat> they want to ask us who we are and why we are here. Uh -huh. Children are interesting. They are harmless, though, for the most part. We can get away from them easily. However, we do not like it when they kill frogs and insects and things. Of course. Uh, do, you, do you communicate with our pets? Sometimes. We communicate with that cat of yours. Uh-huh. Interesting young man. Uh-huh. He's very interesting, a logical being, very logical. So, can he see you? Yes, of course. Can he see all elves? Or Cats all? can see us when we are in third dimension, yes. Ah, I see. Would he haunt you? No, he would have no, I, no need for energy beings. He would not hunt us. I see. He That's might nice. want to play with us, perhaps, but not hunt us. It would be like we were a beam of light and you were showing it all around. Uh -huh. He would chase us around, but he would not harm us in any way. Oh, wonderful. So it's mm. you're playful? We play with the animals and rabbits and the squirrels and chipmunks and... Different animals, yes, raccoons. And what do you think dogs. about insects? We love insects. They do our bidding. Oh, how do they? How do you communicate? It's in an easy to do because we can just send the energy to them, and they understand energy. So that is ah. all they need to understand is 
Come where the energy is. Insects are so mysterious to us, especially like recently I watched that yellow jacket wasps, you know, they behave in a strange way. They are only be protecting themselves. Yeah, but you know, they're clearly in danger and they yes. ignore it. They know what energy is and they become energy and then they return to energy. They do not concern themselves with themselves. Uh -huh. They concern themselves with their existence and their queen and their jobs and their things around them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have uh, flies circling around in the center of the room and they certainly know where to go and where to be. Why do they do that? They follow the light. They follow light wherever it is. And therefore that brings them to the places there they need to be, usually. Mm -hmm. They can be trapped behind glass many times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they find the light. It's mm. the energy source that they look for. So... Most of our members on the side, they don't really have a way to affect the global policies, but individually, what we can do individually to help? Everything you can. I do not know what humans do for their... to keep things good, because we do not involve ourselves with you. We see what you do. We do not always understand it. However, you can, I see that you recycle. Mm -hmm. That is one thing that can be good for your planet and ours. Mm -hmm. um, tree hugging. Is very nice. Do it rake it to trees. That is nice. Do trees have individual minds or you're dealing with the forest at once? The trees are individuals, yes. Trees are individuals. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. I just wanted to say one more thing and then I will go. Thank you for your visit and come again, please. Please, um, please. Be careful what you do with the earth. It is affecting us all and it's making us not want to be here I'm and sorry. it is important for us to be here but when we see certain things it makes us want to leave but we are commissioned to be here and so we will stay but be kind plant I like it when you do plantings plantings are good mm -hmm. plantings are good plantings.